let's talk about Cooksonia. This is Cooksonia. It is an example of one of the earliest land plants that we have evidence of thus far. They lived during the late Silurian and the early Devonian periods around 430 to 390 or so million years ago. Now, like I said, they're an example of one of the earliest land plants that we know of thus far. They were one of the first ones to actually colonize the newly formed land and not just grow in marine environments. They're also the first fossilized plant that we've ever found that has vascular tissue. The vascular tissue of the plant consists of the phloem and the xylem, which basically works to transport nutrients from the roots and the leaves and then down and back again. Cooksonia are thought to be a sort of missing link between bryophytes like mosses and liverworts and vascular plants like everything else. They still reproduced like bryophytes via spores and used a rhizome, but they had vascular tissue, which modern and ancient bryophytes do not have. So in pretty much every sense, these plants were considered to be a transitional fossil, transitioning from the sea to land and from bryophyte to vascular plant. Cooksonia likely colonized pretty much every viable part of the land that was around at the time. They were very widespread, however, most fossil specimens are found in Britain and the UK area. Eventually, these guys did go extinct, likely due to being outcompeted by other newly evolved plants that were a little bit better suited for life on land than these guys were. 